If you are the type of person that wants to wake up every single morning feeling like an absolute king, knowing that whatever the day throws at him, he can overcome and learn something from it, getting excited for the challenges that you have to go through throughout the day, just saying it's time to get excited when a challenge proposes itself to you because you know that it's not going to beat you down, but you are going to beat it. If you want that out of your life, fully knowing that your future is stable and rock solid, whatever you want, you can obtain. Whatever desire you have, you will get. If you want to have a smoother process with aging, if aging scares you because you don't want to get dementia, this is what you need to lock into your brain. You need to beat this into your brain right now. And that's the easy way out is not the answer. Staying in comfort and doing the things that are comfortable are not the answer. And we'll get to how this actually correlates to you aging in a second, but there is an important biomarker that is strongly correlated to you overcoming challenges and doing the hard thing, even especially when you don't feel like it. And that's Hamza's quote. I absolutely love that quote because it really speaks to the problem that we are having in this society right now of just seeking comfort wherever we can I mean, nowadays, we don't even have to listen to random songs that come on the radio. Whatever you want to listen to, you can listen to. There's no just having to sit through a shitty song. You can listen to whatever song you want. If you don't want to make food, you can just go to fast food. If you don't want to do work for the day, you can just call in sick. Super easy. Just fake a sickness. Say you have a fever. I've done that a few times. I'm guilty of it too. If you just want to lay in bed all day and watch anime and jack off, you can do that. But these are not the things that are going to make your life stable. These are not the things that you are going to feel like a king for. You're not going to wake up in the morning knowing that whatever the day throws at you, you are going to be able to overcome. You need to be able to go out there and do the things that are uncomfortable. Staying in comfort is the same as dying. Staying in comfort is not growing. And not growing is synonymous with just dying. There's no stability there. There's either positive growth or negative growth. Dying or growing, you choose. Comfort, staying in comfort is when you just start to die and going and seeking out discomfort in your life, going and learning that new skill, going and learning that new hobby, going and tackling that new business, going on a five mile run when you don't feel like it, going and working out and getting your body in shape, making food when you don't feel like it, knowing that the food that you make is going to be significantly healthier for your body than the food that you will get at a food, fast food restaurant. Do you see what I'm saying? You have to go out and do these difficult things. There was a Shaolin monk that I was listening to on YouTube the other day. And this was, it kind of blew my mind. I think more people should listen to him. I'm blanking on his name right now. I think it's Master Shi Hung Yi. I'm probably butchering that name. But this gentleman was speaking on how you cannot know one thing without experiencing the other. You do not know true comfort. Because you have not experienced true discomfort. You don't do things that you don't want to do. And so therefore, you don't know true comfort. You don't know what it feels like to hit your bed after doing like a marathon. Something you definitely don't want to do. You don't know what it feels like to hit your bed. That true serenity, that true comfort, the calmness, the quietness of, going, of previously going through your day, working hard. And then getting to that bed and experiencing that serenity, that comfort, that calmness. You don't know what that feels like. And so you seek comfort, false comfort in all of these other things. And social media is one of the biggest uh, perpetuators of this problem. Social media gets you and keeps you in a state of comfort. It keeps you just scrolling, searching for that cheap dopamine rather than going out there and actually experiencing true dopamine by overcoming hard challenges. Do you see what I'm trying to say? It is not, life is not about going and just seeking comfort. It's about seeking discomfort. And then the comfort finds you when you finally hit that pillow. The comfort finds you when you finally get time to spend with your loved ones at night. The comfort hits you when you like make a really bomb meal at your house and you slaved away and you ate tasting every single flavor that you put into that meal. That is where true comfort hits. It's not, you're going to appreciate food less if you just go out and buy it at a fast food store. You're not going to appreciate it as much as you would eating it, food that you made yourself. And yeah, it might be uncomfortable to start learning that skill, but this is what you have to do. You have to start learning these skills and doing the hard thing, especially when you don't feel like it. And doing these types of things to get into this realm. I'm going to make sure that I pronounce this right. 
uh, doing these hard things will literally help you age smoother. There is a part of your brain called the anterior mid-cingulate cortex. So I had to look at it really quick because I <laughs> cingulate. Anterior mid-cingulate cortex. And this part of your brain is directly correlated to the amount of resilience you have. The amount of problem overcoming capabilities you have. It grows in size. The more problems you overcome, the more things that you do that you don't want to do, catalyzes growth for the anterior mid cingulate cortex. And there is a strong correlation to the size at which you get this part of your brain to dementia and to the smoothness and of aging. If you are going through life just seeking comfort, you have a stronger likelihood. This is what it means. You have a strongly likelihood, likelihood, likelihood to get dementia. You have a stronger likelihood to age poorly. So staying in comfort is not the way to live. Staying in comfort is not the way that you are going to obtain financial success. Staying in comfort is not the way that you are going to obtain the woman of your dreams. Staying in comfort is not the way that you are going to obtain the body that you desire. It is not going to be how you obtain the aging process that you desire. I guarantee you, you do not want dementia. You don't want to age poorly. You want to age well. And so doing this discomfort, seeking it out, going and doing the things that are difficult to you, starting that business, going on a run, making the food instead of going and eating it at fast food spots. These are the things that are going to benefit your life significantly. So please, I urge you, seek out the discomfort. Don't just live your life on the couch seeking comfort and immediate gratification by scrolling on social media or jacking off or watching a TV show or playing video games, eating fast food. Don't do those types of things. Go out and learn the thing that you have been wanting to learn for some time now. Go out and start the business that you have been wanting to start for some time. Yes, it will be hard, but that is the beauty of it. This is the beauty of life is that we get to overcome challenges. So please, I urge you, go out and seek discomfort because it will show you what true comfort is and it will make your life better as a whole. Now reprogram your mind and take back control of your life. 